When Greg's not studying fossils in his lab, he's out and about investigating live animals to help him calculate the force of a T-Rex bite. He's hitched a ride with the Florida Alligator Control, who are hoping to catch a rogue gator who's been rather upsetting local people by eating their pet dogs. Yes, indeed, a whopping 12-foot animal weighing about 450 pounds. That's about the same as three men or 30-odd poodles. And a chihuahua. Now we have our wild rogue alligator. The perfect subject for our bite test. Yeah, looks a little bit snappy to me, so I think I'll keep out of the way whilst Greg inserts his bite ometer. Okay, okay jobs are free. Right. You ready, Tony? Yeah. Take the hand out of here. here we go. There we go. Nice bite. 2,209 pound bite. One ton. One ton? <laughs> Sounds a lot, doesn't it? So now Greg is going to scale that up to work out how strong the bite of a T Rex would be. Man. Okay, we're close to release. Everyone ready? Tony, you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Everybody hang on. There it is. Boom. That would have left a mark. Based on his work with alligators, Greg calculated that Stan here would have had a bite force of at least four tons. That's 8,000 pounds, or would you believe this, 35,000 newtons. Now, of course, this means absolutely nothing to me, but what I do know is the bone would have had to be so strong that the only way that we can replicate it is by using steel. So, Stan? Meet Dan. Steely Dan? No. Anyway, the muscles to operate these jaws would have had to be massive, and we've had to use sort of the hydraulic piston. Okay, then. I think it's time to give the dog a bone. So this is just part of a cow's leg bone. Pop it in there. Let's do this. Very docile. There you are. Have a chomp on that then. Oh, and another thing. I mean, a predator doesn't slowly open its jaws and slowly close its jaws when it's after a live prey, does it? You know, excuse me, my I just chomp you. No. It leaps forward and snap. So let's see where that is. Four tons. T-Rex leaping out onto prey and snap! <laughs> 